Lindbergh clearance, Speedbird 1215 IFR to Las Vegas, please. Speedbird 1215, LA clearance, how do you hear this transmission? Uh, five by five for us. Thank you. I was having issues with another aircraft said that I was very low. I'm not sure if it's been fixed now or if it's that you hear me just fine. Clearance on request, stand by. Speedbird 1215, clear to Las Vegas Airport, Pebble 6 departure, Santa Catalina transition, then installed. Climb via SID except maintain 15,000. Expect federal T900, Fast departure. Squawk 6771. Okay, clear to Las Vegas, Pebble 6 departure, Santa Catalina transition, then as filed. Climb via SID except maintain 15,000. And Squawk 6771, Speedbird 1215. Speedbird 1215, read back correct. Beautiful! Number ground, Skywest 2245, Terminal 2 with the numbers ready for taxi. Right, let's Skywest fix this nonsense down here, and let me just quickly... Earlier, when you heard the, the low volume, or have you been hearing me the, uh, fine the whole time? Hey, firm, I can hear you 5x5. Five five. Shut them up for a minute. <sighs> Plank the Gentle Dude. Welcome aboard, sir. I don't think I've seen you here before. How are you doing? Mm. Ah, there we go. A bit of Dutch courage. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Let's see. What is going on here? Clark Skiba. Kepik. Ipumi. Nipso. Sunset. Ooh, that's all kinds of wrong. Yeah. What? Well, it's a visual approach sort of kind of a thing, so we'll get to think. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get to like Clara or Skiba or whatever, and then we'll then we'll get vectors for a visual approach. Like I'm ninety percent certain of that, but I'd still like to have this like not completely bollocksed up. You can teach monkeys to fly better than even that. so. No, no spanking for me today yet, Debbie. I actually have no idea how to fix that. What? I don't even know where to begin. Hold on. Do -do 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 -do. Let me get the chart for the Kepik 3 up. Switch it to this view so you can actually see what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, really? Trailer 6. There's a departure procedure called the trailer. Wow, okay, fair, fair enough. Um, Capic 3, there it is. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. How does that transition into that? Even if it, if it even if it even does, I mean, I've been cleared for the route, and this will tell me to send by something else on the way there. I filed Kepik three, and that's what they've been using in the real world, apparently. Um, yeah, uh. no, I, pff, I don't know. I can't remember, it's been a while since I landed on one of the Zero Ones at Vegas, I can't remember what I actually even did last time, so... Whatever, we'll get vectors. But, um... I want to get rid of the... Yeah, oh god, this is all nonsense here. Right. Let's take Wapma. And, uh, Jesus Christ.
And then, I don't know, connect it with Tuskiba, I suppose, maybe? Eh. Any Anyone know here what I really should be doing with this? Ends at 100 at 5 knots, you'll probably get 2 5 left. Uh, well, fair enough. I mean, I went on the 8 disc reader and it said, uh, it said visual approach 0 1 left in use. So, um, hmm. I guess for now I won't delete anything until I need to. It might fuck with the VNAV calculations a bit, though. Let's see. Where's Vegas? Las Vegas McCarran Airport, where you at? There you are. Visual approach, runway one left, one right in use. Departing runway seven left. Yeah. I'll just see for you at the moment, yeah, I'll just talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> don't know what to make of it. Well, anyway, won't worry about it for now. Yeah, exactly. If that's what my flight route says, that, that is what P is doing, like you say. So that's kind of why. I cannot remember what happened. I mean, what happens is I think we get to like. We get to like Skiba or Clara or something like that, don't we? And then we get told to turn off on a heading and then we get vectored around for the ILS or, or a visual approach. That's what usually happens. I just don't know. I'm just thinking here in terms of where to connect my goddamn dots. That's all, really. You know. Because I got a disco here that it needs to be fixed, so in order for my VNAV to work, you see. What the? Anyway, okay, dots have been joined in the most ludicrous way possible. We've got a fucking cat's cradle thing monstrosity going on down there, but it'll do. Um, at times like this, I wish I was in Europe. Where things usually make more sense. Emphasis on usually. Except when you're flying in Germany, then it makes no sense whatsoever. Sorry, no, sorry, Node Rage, but those approaches into Frankfurt we did a while ago, what even was going on there? Alright, looks good. In it, ref. Ground services. Oh, right. Pre flight. Um, what's the distance on this one? 378. So, fuel required five tons. Alright. What we will take. Five and a bit. There we go. Actually, shit, make it six, why not? Instant. Randomize. That's good. Except I needed that info, why did I close it? Darr. Okay, that's entered. Reserves one. Cost index. Is fine. 290 on the cruise altitude. Execute and we'll limit. No D rates for us. Take off. Looks good. 3.4 units of trim. Alright. <sighs> Finally. Right, let's do this. Back to map for you. Zoom you all the way down. Get the squat code in. Oh, 
Climb base said except maintain one. Five thousand. Get that in there. Come on, there we go. Speeds, 141 up here. Oh god damn it. Come on. Being trolled again by the knobs. Heading uh, 270. Good enough for me. Actually, you know what? We'll get the Pebble 6 chart up. I know what force we're flying on. Well, we just didn't run my heading and then immediately turning off to 293 anyway, so I guess it doesn't kind of really matter that much. Um. Alright, everything looks hunky dory to me. You can teach monkeys to fly better than that. Start the APU. Pressurization set, isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay. Not at home to Mr. Cockup on Pilot Edge, so. Let's see. Battery is on. Ground power is on. IRS mode selectors nav. Your damper is on. Instrument transfer switch is normal. Galley power is now on. Emergency exit lights are armed. Window heat is on. Uh, air conditioning and pressurization is set. Instruments are checked. Q&H altimeter is set. Auto brake is RTO. Speed brake is down. Start levers are cut off. Stab trim cutout switches are normal. Radar and aileron trim is free and zero. FMC slash CDU is set. Okay, departure briefing. Um, looks like this. You take off, we turn right after takeoff here, head, head 293, all the way up here, and then uh, when you cross the ocean side 170 radial, you turn right, then set the mission bay 293 radial. All of this is really meaningless to us because we're flying it off the, uh, the FMC. And then we get to Meldy, then we carry on outbound 293, and then when we get to Pebble, which is 39 miles from Mission Bay, we turn on direct to Santa Catalina on the uh, 096 radial inbound. That's the departure. It's not that tricky, really. I've done it before in a turboprop slant alpha, and it wasn't, wasn't particularly challenging. So, um, one of the easier ones in the SoCal region, to be honest with you. There's, there's the fucking departures I've seen out. I had a look at the chart earlier for the Cathedral departure out of Palm Springs, and nearly chat myself. Um, so... Okay. There you go, that's that's the departure briefing. Basically complete. Back to the cockpit. Um, fuel is checked. FMC is loaded. Thrust set, speed set, stab trim is set. Push start checklist. Uh, electrical is as required. Passenger signs are on... Yep. Hydraulics, set. Doors and windows, closed. Beacon, on. Transponder is set 6771. And we're squawking altitude. Mm -mm -mm. Pegasus, we're not flying BA virtual, so it doesn't matter. Okay. APU's now on the buses. Hello, ground! Push us back, will you please, dear? Push it back. Start at number two. And two, rotation. And one rotation. Uh oh. Yeah, this this US Airways is history. Uh, literally, as well as, you know, figuratively. Now that I think about it. Oh. You're then. 
I'll put in the parking brake before we completely demolish him, I think. There we go. Where are we at? Terminal 2. We taxi over there. We arrive... Well, here. That's the end of the um, non-movement area. And then we'll call for our taxi clearance, which is going to literally just be runway 27 by Bravo. San Diego is a wonderfully simple airport in terms of layout, so... Starting one. And two. And one. Fuel. Look at that. that look at that. That livery. It's awesome. Sorcerer Dave's Flying Circus, part of the Global Sim Alliance. Hell yeah. Gotta have lunch, have a nice flight. Have a good one, Grey Wolf. Enjoy. Yeah, that film is awesome, Grey Wolf. It's fucking fantastic, mate. Ugh, never gets old. Alright. Both engines good. Continuous. Oh, I've started with the pumps off again. <laughs> that wasn't a checklist item, was it? I don't think. Anyway. Okay, pedo heat. Hydraulics. Packs. ISO valve goes to auto. APU bleed goes off. Gens are on. APU is off. Laps. Five. Flight directors. Taxi light. Yeah, if I get logo light as well. I should really like edit the pilot texture. So that it looks like Crumpington. That would be actually fucking hilarious, and I should probably do that. You can teach monkeys to fly better than that. Missing a bunch of follow alerts as usual, I'm sorry about that. Panel light's not doing much for us right now, is it? Okay, ground is on 123.9. Get your drinks ready, folks. I'm sure there'll be some screw-ups very soon. November 1, Alpha Bravo. Taxi to parking via Bravo. Good day. Taxi via Bravo. Thank you. Good day. Space ground. Southwest 797, spot 11 with uh, Quebec. Ready to taxi. Southwest 40, 4097, Las Vegas ground. Runway 7 left at Alpha 8. Taxi via Bravo. Uh, runway 7 left at Alpha 8, the uh, taxiway Bravo for Southwest 1097. I keep saying Alpha 3461, located Delta West Kangers. Romeo Alpha 34601, taxi to parking via Foxtrot. Good day. I'm parking via Foxtrot. Good day, Romeo Alpha 34601. Delaware Tower Skyhawk 3, Sierra X ray Alpha 1, short of 2 4, ready for departure. November 123 Sierra X-ray, Palomar Tower, runway 24, Clipper takeoff, wind 2505. 
Get clear for takeoff, 2430 W Dolzal5, thank you for the follow. If you did, just click follow and I missed it. Limburg ground speed at 1215, we're at terminal 2 with the weather ready for taxi. Speedbird 1215, Limburg ground runway 27, taxi via Bravo. 27 via Bravo, Speedbird 1215. Let's go! May have forgotten the parking brake was on there. November Nenner, Charlie Mike, you can continue that you can continue down the runway where are you parking. Uh general aviation parking. Nenner, Charlie Mike, you can continue all the way down to Alpha 8, turn right. We'll see what Alpha becomes of the DC six. We'll see if PMDG admit that they were very wrong about a whole bunch of things with that plane and actually make an effort to fix it. So I can you repeat that back? It's um continue down runway so, Alpha eight, right on Alpha. I need it from there. If they do, then good for them. If not, then they do the whole typical PMDG thing of being kind of arrogant about it and say, insisting that they are correct and everyone else is wrong. Then, yeah. Rest in peace, DC6. I'll have to, I'll have to get out the um, the A2A Strata cruise at some point. We may even do it today. Why not? Um, I can't remember if that thing has a Garmin GPS in it because if it, that would be the only way to navigate properly via modern means. To be honest with you, with that plane, because it can't track VOR radials, so it's too old. It doesn't have modern equipment. So if there's a 2D GPS in it, you might be able to get away with that, though. Because the thing I kind of was excited about the DC6 because it is it does have proper navigation equipment in it, so ready to taxi with uh, November to stay in the pattern. November two one two one Alpha Roger, verify your aircraft type, please. Runway three zero right taxi via Alpha Bravo. I love this livery. I still love this fucking livery. It's so good. One day, someone will make a VC-10 that I can put this livery on, and the cycle will be complete. But until then, it looks pretty damn good on a 737. Las Vegas Tower, Southwest 404, holding... Hey, it's Crazy Diamond. Southwest 404, Las Vegas Tower. He also streams on Twitch, in case you didn't know. Up when, er, he has a gorgeous looking sim, by the way, like way better than mine. For takeoff, wind, one, zero, 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 five. Did I set my real Terra Hayes preset? Probably I did indeed, good. At Alpha 8, clear for takeoff, Southwest 404. And Vegas Tower, Southwest 77, uh, seven I want to become a real pilot someday. Sequence. Southwest 1097. Someday when I can actually afford short, it. Runway 7 left at Alpha 8, number 2. Hold short, 7 left Alpha 8, Southwest 77. November then Charlie and Mike at Alpha cross runway one right cross runway one left taxi to the ramp via Foxtrot. You can cross runway seven left as well. At Alpha cross runway Crazy Diamond. Right. Um cross one way I can't one remember left. how to spell it, um, to be honest with you. It's spelled a bit strangely. Manager Charlie and Mike, you might you may have to cross a portion of runway two of runway seven left as well. So at Foxtrot Cross runway seven left, and it looks like you're continuing. Okay, all right, you're good. You're alpha. You should have exited at alpha eight. Okay, and then or shall I mic hold your position? I'm sorry, the graphics rendering are lagging. It's causing me a delay. Sorry about that. Then or shall I mic? Okay, just I wonder who's on now. At alpha approach seven. and center so then. Right now, cross. So I'm not hearing any of those calls Turn right now on the radio. Bravo. Cross. Cross one runway seven left, left on Bravo. Three to nine, Charlie Mike. Okay. Let's hold it there. Monkeys to fly better than that. Tower is on 118.3. And departure, presumably because he didn't give it to us, will be on the chart. Las Vegas departure. The Pebble departure, 6. South so South let's have a look on there. Look on departure contact 119.6. Let's 
let's pre-tune that. Roger, um, we'll, we'll recycle, uh, looks like we're squawking altitude for Southwest 77. And of course, now I realize that I need to go for a piss. Southwest 1097, make sure your pallet is transponder and the one in the radio. Better now than in the air, I suppose. I'm squawking altitude. If not, try recycling it again. I don't see Be right back, folks. I'm, not, I'm hesitant to give you the takeoff points until you've done that. Let me uh, uh, troubleshoot this for a second for Southwest 1097. Thank you. November 9, Charlie, I'm like at Bravo. Five, cross runway 1 right, cross runway 1 left. Taxi to the ramp, be a fox shot and get a. At Bravo, cross one right and one left, taxi to the ramp via Foxtrot. 3 9 Charlie Mike. Thank you. Southwest 1097, I think we, uh, we got it now. Southwest 1097, it works. Runway 7 left at Alpha 8, clear for takeoff. 7 left at Alpha 8, clear for takeoff. Southwest 1097, thanks. Okay, back. I didn't know Matt was streaming. Is he streaming? Hmm. For those of you asking, were you just doing flight sim today? Nope. I am saving... Oh, Matt's not streaming. I don't know. Um, I'm saving the other games for later on when my brain has turned slightly more to mush. Um, and I will be incapable of operating an aircraft, even remotely safely. So that's the plan, really, basically. Okay, so let's hop on over to tower. We're already on tower. What am I talking about? Okay, so just a quick departure brief, Southwest takeoff brief. We're going to line up. We're going to take off. We're going to go straight on runway heading. And then uh, instead of engaging LNAV immediately above 400 feet AGL, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do heading select and then turn us onto the, uh, the heading that we need, which is... Uh, 293. The reason for that is the last time I flew this particular procedure in the IXEG, it kind of fucked up and went a bit weird immediately after takeoff. Try and match that turn. So I'm just going to use heading select, basically. Um, right. Okay, speeds are in. Leg page is open. Let's give him a call. Limburg Tower, speed bid 1215, holding short 27. Ready to go. Speed for 1215, Lemberg Tower, my 27 clip for takeoff. 27 clip for takeoff, 1215. Let's go! Arm auto throttle. Lights. Strobes. Already squawking altitude. Start the clocks. Somebody's hot miking. There's a stuck mic on the frequency, so I'm going to have to go through everyone on the frequency to make sure 
to see who it is. November 3, 29, Charlie and Mike, Las Vegas Tower, are you with me? I'm with you, 13, Charlie and Mike. Right. November 8, 7, Mike, Romeo, John Wayne, ground, are you with me? I'll say the takeoff for... Romeo Alpha, 3, 4, 6, 9, 1, auction, are ground, are you with me? Is cool. Affirmative, 3, 4, 6, 9, 1. November 2, 1, 2, 1, Alpha, Baker Shell Tower, are you with me, correct? 2121 two, Alpha with you. John yeah. Wayne Ground, Skyhawk 87 Mike Romeo, radio check. November 87 Mike Romeo, I hear you, 5x5, five five. how about me? And Speedbird 1215, just a radio check here. Uh, still with you, 1215. Thank you, runway 27, clear for takeoff. They take off 27, 1215. November 87 Mike Romeo, John Wayne Ground. Okay. Oxen ground from Alpha three four six and one. I follow Vegas. B one rotate. Coming Alpha three four six and one. Oxen ground clears on request on that. Yeah, thanks for the landing count there. X-plane. Gear up. Seabird 1215, contact departure. Departure 1215. I'll do that when I've got a second. Flaps in. I think I'll turn to the right. Tormo 9.6. Alright, 795, would you prefer the full approach from Gaviota or Vector's final approach? Book? Roger. So Cal departure speedbird 1215 coming through 2600 for 15000 via the uh, Pebble 6. Speedbird 1215, still got departure with our contact. Did I just say with you there? I hope not. Fucking hell. Cirrus 5, Kilo Kilo traffic, 12 o'clock, 1.5 miles, northeast bound via fire aircraft, out of the gates, 5,200. Sky color's amazing. I think they're the free ones. Um, they're not actually the like, ultra weather XP Cirrus ones. 5, Kilo Kilo, thank you. I think they're the free Kilo ones. Approach, 1, 2, 4. 7. Gorgeous, look at that. Yeah, it'll be dark in Vegas by the time we get there, never mind. I guess we can request the ILS with vectors because fuck knows what was going on in my ND. Number 55 five, Kilo Kilo, Point Magoo Approach, Camry Altimeter 2902. Horizon 795, Flighting 140, Vectors Final Approach Course, Cinema 18 5000. Okay, after takeoff, stuff's done. Southwest 1097 contact LA Center 135, correction 134.65. Southwest 404 contact LA Center 133.55. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm not I'm not Josh Gibbs. I can't listen to music and watch videos at the same time as dealing with Pilot Air JTC. I kind of need to have my um, thinking hat on right now. Apologies. We'll, LA Center, we'll listen to cheesy 90s music later. It's all good. Plenty more of that to come. Beaver 1215, contact LA Center 128.6. 128.6, Beaver 1215. Southwest 404, LA Center, Roger, climb maintain, level 280. In case you're wondering, I always write down my uh, frequencies I'm handed off to. Contact, approach, Just as a Get thing I can look back at, I need to.
Uh, I think we're with LA Center right now, aren't we? Sky West 2245, Fitterac Quang. Skyline Wind Delta, SoCal Approach, Avalon Altimeter 299 or 7. And Skyline Wind Juliet Delta, turn left heading 0, 9 or 0. And uh, on that heading, intercept Victor 23, resume on navigation. LA Center, speed at 1215, 11,500 for 15,000 by the SID. 1215 LA Center, good evening, climb maintain, flight level 230, clear direct Los Angeles. 230 direct Los Angeles, uh, 1215. S Southwest 1097, contact LA Center 133.55, good night. Southwest 1097 LA Center, climb maintain, flight level 280. Hey, cheers, Numa. There, there's someone from back in the olden days when I just got started on YouTube. How you doing, man? Been a while. Style is my thinking hat. Uh, uh, let's see. I was going to say like a big fluffy Yushanka, but really that's like the opposite of my thinking hat. That is my mighty Tupole vodka hat. Uh... Rise at 795 traffic at your 2 to 3 o'clock, 2 miles northwest bound via firecraft out of the gates 4,500. Thank you. Sky was 2245, set of 18, 8,000. Oh, that sunset. That's epic. Oh, I've been alright, mate. Sky Ups and downs. Uh, three Sierra X ray traffic, twelve o'clock. Sixty K is pretty miles. ridiculous, yeah. Westbound via firecraft out of the gates five thousand seven hundred. <laughs> Fucking nerd rage, you troll. Yes, there are. He's the only guy in conflict with you though. Yes. Yeah. Sky three Sierra X the only additional traffic I'm showing is one target that you're two o'clock five miles he's northbound. Alright, night Raven, have a good one. Tell very much for coming. Sky was twenty two forty five contact Santa Barbara approach one two zero point five five good day. Horizon seven ninety five five correction four and a half miles from habit turn left heading one zero zero maintain four thousand until established on the localizer cleared ILS runway seven approach. Speedbird twelve fifteen contact LA Center one three three point five five connect one three three five five speedbird twelve fifteen. Skywest 2245, Santa Barbara approach, roger, depart Quang, heading 250, vectors, final approach course, ILS 7. Southwest 1097, clear direct 29 palms. Direct 29 palms, what's 97?
LA Center, speedbird 1215, just leveling off at 230. Speedbird 1215, LA Center, climb 18, flight level 290, clear direct Daggett. 290, direct Daggett, speedbird 1215. You can teach monkeys to fly, fly better than that. that. All of the shortcuts tonight. Dialed in here for now. One one one. One no, sorry. One one zero point one. And the course zero one zero. Skag three zero X ray traffic. Uh, Nine at ten o'clock. Four and a half miles eastbound via aircraft. Top of the gates five thousand five hundred. Monkeys to the fly better than that. I think I might request the ILS potentially, depending on how dark it is by the time we get there. Any book series you would like to reread? Um, yeah. It, now you mentioned Discworld. There's a, there's quite a few Discworld books I actually just either completely never Press read Contact, or haven't read in a long time. O i x e g. What are you doing? Yeah, and honestly, one of these days I should go back and read. What the? IXEG, please. Enough of the zigzagging. Series 5 kilo kilo, you need to make that request for the next control. So maybe get the bank limiter out. There we go, finally. Plane's drunker than I am, fucking hell. Yeah, I should go back and read The Lord of the Rings again, to be honest with you. I've read The Hobbit fuck knows how many times, but it's, you know, it's for easier for stupid people like me. I slogged through all three Lord of the Rings books um, a, a long, long time ago. They're really worth a reread. Trying to think what else. Um, the problem with old series like that is I can't remember what ones I've read. I guess there's the old Eisenhorn books, though, like the, the one series of 40k books I still like to this day because they're just genuinely good sci-fi as opposed to just 40k Warhammer wank. Nothing wrong with a bit of wank, mind you. I've, I've read the fucking um, Harry Turtledove World War books, and that is like the epitome of wank. But, um, yeah, you know. Series 5, Kilo Kilo, SoCal Approach, Roger, Burbank, Altimeter, 2992, expect a visual approach on weight. Series 5, Kilo Kilo, roger after, after, uh, Tokes, 3rd ILS, Yankee, runway 8 approach, report 3 miles from the final approach, Vic. Gonna save that as a custom view, that's quite nice. Sky 3 here, X-ray traffic, 10 o'clock, 4 miles southbound via firecraft, out of the gates, 5,500. Yeah, the Silmarillion's weird. It's like not even a proper story half the time. It's like a strange, like, 
encyclopedia-esque kind of a thing. I, yeah. I have a copy of it, but I've never really gone very far with it. I heard someone floating the idea ages ago of making it into a sort of HBO-style series like Game of Thrones. Wouldn't be a bad idea, honestly. Yeah, he's like, you reading a history book, exactly. Mind you, I like history books, but only as long as they're well written. So this 404 contact, LA Center 128.6. Over to 128.6, Southwest 44. Yeah, those are drones down there, I think. It is a pretty sweet view, yeah. I don't fly at night very often in the SoCal region on Pilot Edge because night flying kind of puts the wind up me a bit, but um, sometimes it's worth it just for those sunsets. So this 404 LA Center, good evening. The uh, Limburg altimeter currently 299 under four cross tricks, you to maintain one two thousand. can teach monkeys to fly better than that. I never know, there might be drones down there. It might also be someone doing their V2, now I think about it, because isn't that Ontario down there? And that's Chino. Could be on his way to Ontario. A little fella down there. Is the IXEG as good as PMDG? Almost. I'm assuming you're referring to the PMDG 737 and not, not the PMDG DC-6, which is just garbage right now. Yeah, it's almost. It's had loads of hotfixes. It hasn't had a full, proper big update yet, but once it does, I reckon it's going to be up right up there. So this 1097 LA Center, cross Trixie to maintain 12000, Lundberg altimeter 2994. This is pure aviation porn on the screen right now. Holy crap, look at that. Sky 3 Sierra X ray traffic, 9, correction, 3 o'clock, 2 miles southbound, VFR aircraft out of the gates, 5,300. Sky 3 Sierra X ray, additional traffic, 12 o'clock, 4 miles northbound, VFR aircraft out of the gates, 6,500. Flying through the busiest corridor right there in all the network. The whole coastline from uh, from down down south in the San Diego area. You'll figure that out soon enough, though. Look at that. Oof. It's paper twelve fifteen cross Mycin at a maintain flight level two four zero. Meissen at 240, speed at 1215. There we go. Meissen's up ahead there. Is actually in there as a constraint. Skyline 1, Julia Delta, contact so It's telling me top of descent is right over Daggett. I'm suspect. I'm, I'm suspicious of that. That seems sketchy to me, but. Series 5, Kilo Kilo traffic. So I think I will force it to descend a little bit sooner than that. Northbound via firecraft out of the gates, 4,600. Sky was 2245, turn right at 310, descent of 18, 3000. Skyline 1, Juliet Delta, SoCal approach, good evening. Lindbergh, altimeter 2, 9 or 9 or 4, cross Mission Bay at 5000.
Romeo Alpha 346, not a one point Magoo departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 8,000. How can we arrive at 0366 Zulu? How is that even possible at XCG? That's not even a time. That's. whatever. Skyline 1, Juliet Delta, traffic 12 o'clock, 4 miles westbound via fire, craft out that indicates 10,600. Next, you'll be telling me it wants me to arrive there at 2,500 hours. <sighs> yeah, see, this is, it's, it's, yeah. To whoever is asking about the whether it was PMDG quality or not, as an example of why it isn't quite there yet. But it's, you know, Romeo it's an active development. The, uh, more. Contact the devs are a really cool bunch of dudes. They're, um, they're working hard. You know, this, this plane, by the time they're done with it, is going to be fucking fantastic. So, it already is great, honestly. I, I love flying this thing. Just got to be aware of one or two little things like that that aren't really going to affect you anyway. I mean, uh, progress pages are just sort of, like... The only time I think you would ever really Sky need a progress page for anything is probably transatlantic flight when you've got to make precision reports. Um, and that's the only pre real kind of instance I can think of where a working progress page would actually be of any serious use to you whatsoever. And, yeah, PMDG quality went out the window as soon as they released that DC6. So, six miles from Goya, turn right, heading zero four zero, maintain three thousand until no longer a thing as far as I'm concerned. Skag three CRX three, SoCal approach. Good evening, Los Angeles altimeter two nine 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 four. Eight to are a cool bunch of dudes though. I don't agree with them in their their uh, their view that. X plane doesn't provide the kind of things that they'd need to make their simulations. I think that's nonsense. I think they just need to learn X plane. But um, aside from 3, 4, that, they are a cool bunch of devs. They're not assholes like PMDG. Level two, three, zero. And uh, I tell you what, you're clear direct Palmdale now. Only charge seventy bucks for it. Don't get me started. I was initially okay with the damn thing, and then I saw all of Rush's streams, and I was just like, you know what? I I don't even want to fly this anymore. I would feel bad for flying it. Well, you know what they say, ignorance is bliss, and kilo, unfortunately, kilo. Rush has gone, gone, gone and gotten rid of my ignorance. How dare he? Alright, let's start down for Meisen. This guy was 2245, contact Santa Barbara Tower, 1.9.7, good night. Yep. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're gonna make that in no time. Maybe the t maybe the TD counter was right. Monkeys to fly better than that. Oh, mind you, we were descending at a stupid rate.
Speedbird 1215, contact LA Center at 134.65. 134.65, Speedbird 1215. Yeah, we're going to make that, no trouble. Alex Center Speedbird 1215 descending through flight level 257 for uh, 240. Speedbird 1215 LA Center, good evening. Cross bar to maintain 13,250 knots. Vegas altimeter 2988. Clara at uh, 13,250 knots and copy the altimeter Speedbird 1215. my VNAV, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, one three thousand. Oh, Boeing isms. I just, Boeing just fucking. Why can't I have an Airbus with managed and open? And that's all I need. Ay yay yay. Okay, there we go. FS Labs, hurry the fuck up. And Q Pack, damn you. Romeo for three four six nine one. Contact LA Center one two five point two seven. Good day. It's, yeah, a, three, four, six, seven, one, LA, it's the descent and approach where I usually ship myself, two, nine, basically. Nine, nine, um, everything, like the departure, climb up to cruise, that's all fine. I, that's, I don't have issues with that. It's my descents and approaches that always invariably end up with something going wrong and me getting told off. So, Thankfully I've flown to Vegas quite a few times now, so I've at least got a bit of practice, but yeah. It's always kind of stressful trying to get down in time and slow in time. Okay, vertical profiles catching us up. Kind of works like a localized, you know, a glide slope thing, except it's completely calculated from the aircraft itself as opposed to from an external source like the uh, glide slope. That's as, that's as I understand it, anyway. There we go. Green bananas come in. I do love that thing. It basically tells you at which point in front of you you are going to arrive at your altitude you've dialed in. Drag required, really? All right. Break out the lipstick, high heels, and feather boa. Right. Did we check in? We did, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, we definitely did, because that's when he told us to go down to Clara at 13,000. <laughs> Atlas 404, contact SoCal approach 124.35.
Southwest 404, SoCal approach, Roger. To send via the Lindy 4 arrival, clear the localizer 27 approach. Well, it's a factor 757, good. It's not bad, um, but I haven't been able to get it working as of 10.45 of X-Plane. It just doesn't seem to... Like, I get this weird issue where after I've entered the flight plan in my FMC and all that sort of stuff, I'm getting ready to do the before start checks. I get this uncontrollable stuttering lag every time. I've tried reinstalling the bloody plane like twice and it still happens, so at the moment I can't guarantee you it's going to work completely with the latest version of X-Plane, so it's not bad. I'd recommend the 767 instead because it's just better in pretty much every way anyway. And it does definitely work with the latest version of X-Plane, so. But I got a bit of a hankering for the 757 a little while ago because um, I, as an aircraft I prefer it slightly to the 767. And yeah, I just couldn't get, I couldn't fix that glitch. So, could just be me and my shitty installation, but you know, wouldn't be fair if I didn't at least warn you. Southwest 1097 contact, SoCal approach one two four point three five. All right, this is where things get a little bit funky. See all this mess up here. Probably gonna tell us to leave Clar or Skiba, one of the two, off at a certain heading. So that's 1097, so Cal approach to send me the Lindy 4 arrival, cleared localized for 27 approach. Oh, yeah, the 767 is fantastic. I absolutely love that plane. I'm thinking of flying it back from Frankfurt later to finish off that, that round trip we did. We, we started so the BA virtual approach, last time. Gonna arm auto break two down there, by the way. So we're going down to one three thousand, so let's check out the altimeter for Vegas. Two nine eight six. He did give it to us earlier, but I didn't write it down, so. Sky and Wendy, Delta Roger Montgomery Airport at your at your nine to ten o'clock now, six miles port when you have it in sight. Sky and Wendy, Delta clear visual approach runway two eight right. Just updated the route. I don't know what was up with that other plane command either, by the way. <laughs> I'm not going to clue. None of that is right, actually, at all. Oh my god. Romeo Alpha 346 climbing. Uh, correction, contact LA Center 133.55. Monkeys to fly, fly better than that. that. Romeo Alpha 346901, SoCal Correction, LA Center, good evening. Climb maintain for level 250, and uh, when able, clear direct Daggett. More little drones hanging around out there. Sorry, Xenon Zebra. Getting, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm behind all my goddamn commands. I set them up and then didn't realize how awkward it would be to keep updating them all the time. We were 12:15 contact Las Vegas approach 125.9. 125.9 speed, but 12:15. All right. Skag 3 Sierra X-ray contact SoCal approach 134.2. You can teach monkeys to fly better than that. Las Vegas approach, speedbird uh, 1215, on 6000, down for 13000. We're 1213, SoCal approach, uh, correction, Vegas approach, good evening, altimeter 2988. Send me the KPEC 3 arrival, expect the visual 25 left. 
Okay, pick three and visual two five left, speed at twelve fifteen. Break required. Oh my god. So we're getting the two five left anyway, I guess it's changed again. It's got uh, three C R X no rays, so caliper. Hopefully with this won't break gizmo. Might do. A primitive two nine nine or two in the R never runway two six approaches in use at uh, at Camarillo. Just oh, let me know which what? one you'd like That's to not what I want. Yikes. We're totally gonna break Gizmo. You just watch. And uh Skyak three sir, actually I tell you what, clear direct uh Swana now. And cleared Arnav Yankee runway two six approach. Report three miles from the final approach pick. Uh oh. Okay. Oh boy. FMC planning while descending and doing other bullshit. Not fun, not fun, not fun. Whatever, we're getting vectors for the visual. Fuck it. That's all I can say to that. Fuck the pink spaghetti. So the sports your Ford Rebo contact Limburg Tower gonna Alright, I see where it's gone wrong. And Southwest 404, best forward speed until the final approach fix, please. What is that flashing about? Uh, what? Thank you. Jesus. So that's 1097. Looks like you're a bit high. Are you going to be able to make the approach or you would you'd like vectors resequencing? Alright, so that's 1097. Sandicate airspeed. So that's 1097 for spacing. I need you to reduce your speed to 1 or 0 knots, please. Thanks. Skyline, when you lay Delta, looks like you passed Montgomery Air Airport. It's uh, behind you now, three miles. I tell you what, FMC airliners are most of the time pretty easy compared to the other stuff, but fucking trying to basically debug a computer while flying an airplane is not fun. Alright, Skyline 1 Julia Delta, that's Kilo, Mike, Yankee, Foxtrot. Turn left heading 2190 immediately, please. Vector 3 sequence. And uh, Skyline 100, correction, Skyline 1 Julia Delta, need you to expedite that left turn, please. You're about to cross the final approach uh, course into, into Miramar. Okay, we're descending via the Kepik 3. I've bugged in 8,000 since that's the bottom of the um, the arrival. Skyline 1 Julia Delta, Roger, clear visual approach to it, right? We're going to cross. Break one three thousand right now until we get to Kepik just in front of us. Then we're going to make a so that's right turn. Add Rebo contact Limburg Tower. It's Ipumi eleven thousand two thirty knots. Nipso nine thousand. Sunset eight thousand at two ten knots. Chips eight thousand at one seventy knots. That's if we're going by the ILS anyway. We'll get vectors probably fairly soon. Well, we'll be asked if we'll we'll, we'll basically turn off to the right and then sorry about that. We'll turn off to the right. We'll fly past Vegas itself. We'll be asked if we have the field in sight, and we already do anyway. And then we'll be told cleared for the visual approach and probably something like with make base leg turn within one five DME of uh, of Las Vegas VOR. So we could ask for the ILS approach since it is night time for us right now. Should we do that? I suppose we might as well. Las Vegas approach for speed bit 12.15. Now uh, we'd like to request the ILS for 2.5 left if possible. Super 12.15, Roger, you can expect vectors. Uh, final approach course for the ILS 2.5 left. You'll get that with the next control. Uh, thanks very much, speed bit 12.15. Hello, Vegas. How you doing?
More of this nonsense. Oh, it's just drag required. Okay. Does anybody know what the AP something orange light is? I don't actually know what that is. I've got to be. I've got to be completely honest with you. I have absolutely no idea what that little enunciator means. Usually, it seems to be when something to do with the VNAV has gone a bit screwy. But um, yeah, I don't really know what it is. Gripping. Uh, calm the fuck down, guys. We're on, like, the standard terminal arrival route right now. This is, like, about as bog-standard and boring as it gets. Honestly. Actually, I'm going to leave the speed brake out so we can slow down to 230 a bit faster. Because we're not doing a terribly good job of that. Oh, they're about to level off at, level at 11,000, and then we can really dial back the speed. Slippery plane, the 737. Doesn't like to slow down, which is what makes it kind of awkward sometimes to fly on arrivals. My um, my night lights are sort of popping in a bit weirdly. I'm not sure I like that. Anyway, there's the strip. That's McCarran Airport. That is Nellis Air Force Base. That's Lake Mead. Hoover Dam's just over there behind that hill. Red Rock is down there. Just that little pinkish bit of rock. If you might be able to see it there. It's, it's gone now, but never mind. You might have been able to see that. I believe that down there is Jean. Oh, no, no, no. That's Henderson. Jean's further down yonder that way somewhere, I think. that's I think that's Jean. There. Good Springs is out here somewhere, I think. Where are the gun runners? Yeah. If I recall correctly, the gun runners are. 0215 contact, biggest approach 135.0. Good night. 135.0, speed of 1215, thanks. Las Vegas approach, speed bid 1215, descending through uh, 10,100 via the Kipik 3. Speed 1215, Vegas approach, roger, after sunset, flighting 080 vectors, final approach course. After sunset, 080 vectors for the uh, final approach course, speed bid 1215. After sunset, which is there, we'll be going 080. Let me just dial it in. So once we get to sunset, I just hit heading select, plane does the rest. And Sky 3 Sierra X Rape, go ahead and contact Camryo Tower at the final approach fix. How many are these dead? Oh, that's why he was trending on Twitter. It's kind of bad that that's how I find out how people have died these days. Anyway, I was just saying, I think the gun runners are kind of up here somewhere. Yeah, they're up there, kind of somewhere. That's Freeside. Or would be Freeside in New Vegas, you know. You get the idea. Oh, you think this is bad button pressing? You ain't seen nothing yet. Just, just you wait until I stream the Tupolev again. That is truly Button Simulator 2016. Okay, two ten knots at sunset. 
Actually, you're in slightly slower than that. Speed for 1215 to 5000. Down to 5000, speed for 1215. Ah, uh, five, thank you. 1000, level change. Keep 10 knots. And zero, 080. Zero. It's like a course change of like one degree, but okay. Double check we've got the ILS frequency dialed in, course 255. And 111.75. Awesome. We can put that on both sides actually. That would enable us to do an auto land if we needed it. We won't, but we could. Any of these flight sims VR compatible? Some of them, yeah, it's kind of a thing that's still in progress, really, I think. But I've been told by people who have done flight sim with VR, it's, it's absolutely incredible. Look at that little Boac Speedbird logo at the back there. Sorry, B O A C, not Boac. Kind of peasant, am I? What on earth is Boak? What are you talking about, man? No. <laughs> speed for 12.15, turn left heading 3.5.0. Left 3.5.0, speed for 12.15. Huh? I do like Vectors for an ILS. It saves me having to think for myself. <laughs> Gotta be honest. <laughs> Visual approaches require me to actually do some thinking. Um, with ILS you just get, you just do what you're told. Admittedly this is because I, I started flying in Europe first before I came over to the US in the sim and in the in, in Europe the ILS is standard operating procedure regardless of the, the weather or time of day so Just a chimp pushing buttons when I'm told to. 15, five miles from Shan, turn left heading 250, correction 280, maintain 5000 till established on the localizer, cleared ILS 25 left approach. 280, uh, maintain 5000 till onto the uh, localizer, leave the 1215, cleared for the approach as well. Bit of a shit radio call that one, never mind. I think you've got to remember though, if you ever fuss over the radio stuff too much, is that the real pilots make shit radio calls all the time. Trust me. Like I, I listen I sit and listen to live ATC sometimes while I'm doing flying, and the, the nonsense you hear sometimes on there is hilarious. Alright, gear down. All the lights. My god, I remember the lights for once. What is going on? I'm approach. Fever 1215, contact Vegas Tower, 119.9, Asta La Vista. 119.9, Fever 1215, cheerio.
Las Vegas Tower, Speedbird 12.15 on the ILS for 2.5 left. Speedbird 12.15, Las Vegas Tower, wind 1203, run my 2.5 left, clear to land. 2.5 left, clear to land, Speedbird 12.15. are armed. Speed brake set to uh, auto brake even set to two. Gears down three green, flaps 30. And Montgomery clearance of the Skyline 291 Juliet. Cleared land. Clearance to Let's do this. The nine zero. We'll get to about four or five DME and then I'll rogy speed to our final approach speed which is going to be about 130 do 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 eight knots. The aircraft calling clearance, go ahead. Uh, that was Skyline 291, Juliet Delta requesting clearance to Lima 9 0. We'll go ahead and do it now, actually, why not? Not in a rush, there's no one behind us. November 291 Juliet Delta, Montgomery Clearance, Little Lima 90 Airport on departure. Fly heading 270. Radar vector is Julian VOR, then us filed. Maintain 3000, expect 7000 flash departure. Departure frequency, expect uh, 900,000 flash departure actually. Departure frequency 119.6, squawk 3235. And uh, one Juliet Delta cleared to the Lima 9 and 0 airport via fly heading 370 vectors to uh, Julian, then is filed. Uh, we'll climb maintain 3000 and speak 9000. And uh, 119.6 on departures in 3235 is score. The number one Juliet Delta, read back, correct. 1000. Okay. Let's get this throttle synced up. Oh, the throttle is out. Delivery, Charlie Golf Alpha, Sierra Golf is a And that's Rush! Golf, uh, and he's in the jet stream 32! Good man. Angeles, please. My aircraft. Do this. Charlie Golf Alpha, Sierra Golf, Las Vegas Clarence. Clear to LA Airport, McCarran Ford Park. This plane is trimmed good. I had to get a chart Squawk out there just now. Squawk 4072. It didn't even fall off the glide slope that much until just now, and I had to adjust the chart. And Charlie Golf Alpha Sierra Golf is clear to the LAX Airport via the McCarran Ford departure, Hector Transition Climb via the SID. Squawk 4072. Charlie Golf Alpha Sierra 50, Golf. 40, Charlie 30, Golf Alpha Sierra Golf, 20, read back, correct. 10. Bit off the center line, but oh well. Not the end of the world. No, can we get off here, please, please, please? Thank you. Las Vegas Tower Speedbird 1215's Alpha 25 left at Alpha 7. Speedbird 1215 at Alpha 7, cross from a 25 right, taxi to parking via Bravo, good day. Cross 25 right, parking via Bravo, Speedbird 1215, thanks very much. Alright. Get all of those flaps back in. We have to fucking hit the key so many times. There we go. Speed there brakes back in. Stock, three Cirex, so we're clear two six and Charlie. Yeah, three Cirex, we taxi to via Charlie, Foxtrot, good day. Charlie, Foxtrot, three Cirex, are you? Start of the uh, APU.
Um, let's get those back out again. Kind of dim out there with just the taxi and turn off lights, to be honest. Las Vegas ground, uh, Charlie Golf Alpha Sierra Golf at the intersection of Charlie 2 and a Bravo. Oh, he's here. Uh, I might be able to see him in a second. Taxi for departure, IFA. Charlie Golf Alpha Sierra Golf, Las Vegas ground. We're on my 25 right taxi via Charlie. 25 right taxi via Charlie, Charlie Golf Alpha Sierra Golf. And Montgomery Ground, Skylane, 291 Juliet Delta, shorter Delta, um, request taxi. November 291 Juliet Delta, Montgomery Ground, verify you have the weather, runway 28 right taxi via hotel, Alpha. 28 right via hotel. The night lighting in this cockpit is fantastic. IXEG did a really good job of that. I love flying the IXEG at night. No. Not when I'm being controlled, and especially not on a route I've never flown before, but uh, <laughs> it is still pretty good. Well, and said parking via Bravo. I uh, think we'll go... The, uh, actually, no, screw that. We'll go all the way to the end. We'll go park at the international gates, because we are flying under the speedbird call sign. So fuck it. Question is, where's Rush? Probably under the ground or something, because I bet he's got that scenery like elevation fix, and I haven't. Means he's nowhere to be seen. It'll be shark finning. This is already taken off, and I wasn't paying attention. Who knows? Why is the strobe light on? Oh yeah, good point. It's because I was crossing the runways. I left it on and then forgot once we crossed 25 right. In the ground, Duke 544 to the Hotel North East Parking. Information run, you take to your car, please. Oh, that's just so nice. 544 to the Hotel, Lemberg Ground, number 27 taxi via Charlie. Vegas at night, it's awesome. One two seven taxi via Charlie by Duke five four four to your hotel. Not quite as good as New York at night, but pretty close. Half less taxi speed. Well, they don't call a speed bird for nothing, do they? We haven't got time to waste. We've got passengers to offload. It's on the ground right ahead of me. Bum bum bum! I don't see him actually. Yeah, there must be an elevation thing going on. Uh, the difference is, Stormlock, you might not remember getting mugged at Vegas. John Wing ground. Skyhawk 87 Micro Mio, radio check. Yeah, that's the cargo five, over five, there. Five. Let's jump in here. Roger, thank you. International gate I straight ahead. Before you had a stuck mic because after the end of the transmission, we'll go park next to the other speedbird, I think. I wouldn't be able to get back to you. Thank you very much, Shigarath. It's pretty awesome. I'm still having trouble kind of processing the number, to be completely honest with you. Taxi light on? It is. It's just really dim. I really should do more night flying in... Uh in the same, I just panic when I can't see where I'm flying to out of the window, you know. 
I mean, I I I flew the the JS32 yesterday into I think it was fucking Stansted or, or somewhere, and, then, and there was like shitloads of clown. I couldn't see what I was doing, and it was just it was just terrifying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Could not see where I was going. Learning a new aircraft for the first time. Flying off radials, which I'm shit at. Something very reassuring about being able to look out the window, see the airport, and just say, "Screw it, we're landing." I can see it now. Boop. I think there's auto get here, but I can't see it. It's too high up. I want us to go a bit further forward. There you go. Fucking brakes in. Number Tower two five four four two zero two at uh, Charlie one number two seven ready for departure. Disconnect from pilot edge. Disconnected. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. We hope you enjoyed your flight. See, I can fly properly when I want to. When I actually bother to make the effort, we can do this pretty much flawlessly. But sometimes, I think it's more fun to just YOLO it, do a fucking 270 aileron roll, skip the entire arrival, bust all the restraints, and just scream on in 20 knots too fast. You know? <sighs> Uni, I don't have you on ignore, dude. I'm just focusing on other shit. Um, it's a thing with people with blue names in the chat, because I use the dark background. I can't read your name sometimes, so I just sort of... I think my brain tunes it out slightly. Then doing a mix session, what I'm doing, and, uh, ended up with the guy on the tarmac and me pissing on him, it was a good... <laughs> Fair enough. I got mugged once, and the guy who did it ended up on Jeremy Kyle eventually. I, I shit you not. A friend of mine's got the tape somewhere. Alright, Frantic Thumb, um, have a good one. I'm, uh, now you mentioned Scotland, I might go fly there next, I'm not sure. They don't still test nuclear bombs around here, do they? Only when I'm flying. Fly from Frankfurt, do it on FS Cloud, and you will join. Alright, well, I'll, I'll have to get the FS Cloud thing reinstalled for X Plane then. Alright. I haven't turned off the engines yet because it's replay time. You know, I think this flight's probably going to go on YouTube. I impress even myself sometimes. I uh, that, that that whole thing went way better than expected. Anything else lined up besides flying about? Yeah, one or two things. Like I said, I'm going to move on to the other games once my brain turns to mush and we start to get probably around late. Like I don't know, midday <laughs> over here in the UK. And that, that'll be the point where we start trying to do. We, 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 you know, we'll, we'll move on to some other games. While I've still got my faculties, I'm going to try and fly planes. So if you're not interested, feel free to just tune back in later. I don't know about 24 hours, Rage, but uh, we'll go for a while. Yeah, there's me pulling up after having... I was adjusting my ground chart on the other screen and the plane started to dip way below the glide, so that's what that sudden yikes was. Oh, let's take that back. Gotta hear that. Gotta hear that flyby. 
Beautiful. This view right here at night is just the best. Oh, there's the float. And then thud. I'm hoping... Pedro said he was working on something to do with uh, the scenery and the runway contours and stuff. I'm hoping we can get the runway contours back in, because if you didn't know, X-Plane out of the box, um, it has well, runway contours. Basically, the runways are bumpy like they are in real life, as opposed to completely flat. Um, you know, they're sloped and wobbly and everything. Um, way far back there. I didn't find it that much. Um, but it glitches out with some of the scenery you can get for X-Plane. And I think on Pilot Edge anyway, they prefer you to use the flat runways. But um, even so, I do love... I Like, I did fly when I first got into X-Plane, after moving over from... Right, let's, like, stop fucking about and actually get a good view of this. Um, when I did first move over to X-Plane from, from Prepared, I fucking loved the runway contours. So good. So much more like the real world. First time I ever booked one of those, like, flight experience lessons. You get? We took off in our little Cessna 152. Um, that was the first thing I noticed. Like, the, the runway at Duxford, it looked like a fucking aircraft carrier ramp. Like, it just went straight up on a hill. And you only notice it when you actually sat in the plane at the end of the runway looking out in front of you. You can teach. I love those Money sounds. To fly better than that. That. You don't get flyby sounds with PMDG. <laughs> oh my god. Beautiful. Bloody DC-6. I mean, I've had a couple of fun flights in it. Like, that's the thing. There's a bit of cognitive dissonance going on because I have had some fun with it. But I just don't want to fly it, especially not on stream, because I don't want to promote the fucking thing, because as a product right now, it's just a total rip-off. Let's get a... oh, yeah, let's get a wing view with the, uh, screwed up noises. I hope they add a proper cabin to this thing at some point with lighting and everything, because that would be really sweet. One thing I like about, like about the Flight Factor pilot planes is they have quite nice cabins. Like, super low priority, obviously, but it's still 30, nice. 40, 30, 20, 10. That right there might be the thumbnail for the bloody video. That's actually incredible. It'll either be that or that wing view coming out of uh, LA earlier with the sunset. Thanks, Bancho. That was pretty fucking sweet. You can teach monkeys to fly better than that. Uh, there's the bug with the spoilers, thank God. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the cockpit. Light deck, whatever you want to call it. Okay, APU is... Yep, just double check that. On the buses. So long engines. Hang on a minute. Was I on ground the whole way here? Uh, might have been. Apparently nobody suffocated though, because I never got a fucking... Never got a beeping horn. That's weird. Anyway, never mind. I begin to wonder if that switch even actually does anything from a simulation perspective. Never mind.
Hmm. Isn't that a checklist item? I did the bloody check. Ah, whatever. Never mind. I love that winding down sound with the turbines. So good. Dome light! Oh, look at that. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. Map light hype. Still not as good as Jack's ones. Jack's ones have a bit more rotation on them, but uh, yeah, map light hype. Hooray! Ground power. You may now unfasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for flying with Sorcerer Days Flying Circus. We have taken your feedback on board and have attempted to improve the safety of our flights. Um, you may have noticed this was significantly slower, but uh, it's what you guys wanted, so don't fucking complain.